there, how are you today? Video games have become more and more prevalent in other media these recent years. There is a freaking Nintendo theme park on the way, we have cereals, trading cards, candy, plushies and now we also have movies and TV series. Detective Pikachu was a huge success and Sonic is well on its way to do something similar. With some interesting casting picks with Jim Carrey as Eggman for instance. It's not going to get better than that. Alrighty then. And Netflix has also jumped on that train with The Witcher Netflix show. And yeah, I know, The Witcher is a book series and not actually a game series. But the franchise gained a lot of its popularity thanks to The Witcher 3. And while some people love it and for others it's not really their thing, the numbers don't lie. As it was watched to some degree by 76 million households. That ain't bad. So you can imagine that other game franchises want to taste some of that sweet movie or series magic as well. Director for God of War, Cory Barlog is most certainly one of them, stating in a tweet that he would love to see a God of War Netflix series. And I can't blame him. But that got me thinking. We know that there is a Super Mario movie on the way, but what if Nintendo got to pick some other franchises as well and transform them into a Netflix series or a movie? Then which ones would be the best pick? I want to present to you my top 5 of series that would be the most suitable for that kind of platform. Let's jump right in. Space. Lots of it. Space. That's always cool, right? There is literally a lot of room for possibilities. Visiting different planets, cool spaceship battles, and all kinds of different weird aliens and creatures. And that's why I would suggest Star Fox as the perfect contender for this. Just imagine, a new team of starfighters taking it up against space warlords in epic space battles. Visiting different planets where they are sent on new missions every time. Where they will eventually stumble upon a girl with ancient powers on a planet full of dinosaurs. You can see where I'm going with this. There is a lot of lore within Star Fox to make up an interesting story. With the main mechanic, which are space battles, being one of the core aspects. But if we want to go deeper into some more exploration driven storylines, you could really take Star Fox Adventures as a starting point for some wild expeditions. You have your main team that are the heroes of the story, with Fox, Falco, Peppy and Slippy, and your usual enemies like Wolf, Leon Pawalski, General Skills and Andros, who will all put some pressure on the team. There is a lot that you can do with this source material. And if we take a look at Starlink Battle for Atlas, then we can get a good sense about how a series of this would look like. Which in my opinion is some of the best Star Fox story content out there. With high quality cutscenes and fleshed out personalities for the whole team. This could be a solid contender for some TV action. With a new mission every episode. We can only hope that it will happen one day. And while we were just in space, why not settle down into one of the most beautiful worlds of the Nintendo Kingdom. Hyrule. Vast oceans, massive mountains, a beautiful forest, a giant castle and much more. Again, so much to do here, especially because you have one world with unlimited possibilities. Man, what I wouldn't give to see a TV show with Zoras, Gorons, Deku Scrubs, the Kokiri, you name it. The Legend of Zelda is known for its timeline, where different games can take place anywhere in a specific time frame, where the world also can be vastly different. Hyrule often looks the same when we look at Ocarina of Time or Twilight Princess for instance. But we have also seen it undergo some massive changes. With Wind Waker where it was mostly underwater or what about Breath of the Wild where nature has taken over. But no, if I had to pick one time frame I would say around or before Ocarina of Time. Where there are huge cities for the Goron and Zoras and smaller settlements around the world with interesting characters like Romani's Ranch or Kakariko Village. You could also get really experimental and make Link visit places like Koholand Island or Termina, which are far out of the way from Hyrule. But yeah, an adventure heavy series where the imminent threat of Genna is lurking around the world where things get worse and worse as time goes on, would be something amazing. Traveling to different places to do everything to save Zelda. It would be kinda tricky with a silent protagonist, but with the likes of a companion- Hey, listen! No, no, not you! I think it could actually work. But hey, that might just be the Zelda fan in me talking. And do you like horror? I sure do. Or at least from time to time. I can often be a bitch as well. 
But what better franchise to step into that territory if it isn't Metroid? Holy Samus! Can you imagine how insane that would be? Dimly lit corridors in abandoned spaceships where there has been some crazy medical outbreak. With all kinds of different creatures and robots walking around trying to get to Samus. I could really get some Soma vibes from that. But it's also a possibility to keep it more lighthearted. Metroid is also known because of its action and puzzle capabilities. Unlocking more and more skills as you progress. So it would be nice to see her as a beginning bounty hunter. Trying to capture increasingly difficult bounties that want to ruin Samus's day. And at the same time you could introduce other interesting characters that could work with or against Samus. Like Rondas or Silux. And after a while, when the first season is over, bigger stories could be integrated into the plot. Like the Super Metroid storyline. Just Sam is stuck on a planet trying to figure out what happened to the Metroid. And why everyone is dead around you, you know? Fighting against space pirates like Ridley. And massive monsters like Mother Brain and Creed. It could also have a nice tie-in with the Metroid Prime series. At least we know that there is a lot of inspiration to make a scenic, atmospheric space horror. Which is something that I would love to see. And let's go from scary to something more lighthearted. Being scared isn't everything. It might be more important to laugh. And who's funnier than the stumbling idiot that likes to bother Mario all the time? Wario! With a WarioWare or Wario Land series to create some chaos. Look, I have always been a fan of the Wario Land series. But with WarioWare, I think you have this little bit of extra magic that could lead to a very good TV show for young and old. I mean, those games are based on humor and absurdity. With the craziest lineup of characters and the most bizarre games from time to time. Here, let me show you some of it to get an idea. Yahoo! You see? Crazy stuff. Now this would be quite difficult to put in a TV show. But not to worry, because with Wario and his friends you can have more than enough fun. Like with Ashley. A young witch who gets into a lot of trouble. Or what about Dribble and Spitz? A cat and dog that are up to no good. But my favorite that I want to see make an appearance has to be Jimmy T. Big blue afro, music notes as a mustache, and overall just handsome. He dances everywhere he goes and he is just a big meme. Now I do would like to see some more Wario Land plots in there. With him trying to sabotage Mario and of course failing at that. And also being greedy as fuck by swindling people and chasing treasures. If you want a meme show, this would be it. So four shows, and on top of that the Mario movie, Detective Pikachu and Sonic. So then what else is there left to do? That is starting the Super Smash Bros. initiative. We love it from Marvel with the Avengers. So why not do the same here? One big threat, probably Master Hand or Galim, which can be defeated, unless all of our heroes get together and unite to defeat this huge problem. Now the issue that I could see with this is that they would probably look aesthetically all very different. I mean Sonic and Pikachu are live action, but I'll bet you that it will be not the case for the Mario movie. And for some of the series that I mentioned today, I don't know if the best decision would be to go fully live action. But if you want to fix that, I would suggest getting Sakurai on board who has basically done the same thing for Smash, giving all the characters similar features by which they look like they belong in the same game. I mean Mr. Game & Watch is just a silhouette, and even he doesn't look totally out of place. But alright, if we could fix that problem we would have a solid movie. I can totally imagine it, the first Smash movie with Mario, Link, Pikachu, Samus, Sonic, Wario and Star Fox, after which more series will be created for Nintendo characters just for them to come back and do an even bigger mashup. If Nintendo would go in that direction, I would be one happy boy. Now we can only hope of course that they will do something like this. But with a Mario movie on the way, the first steps for a larger cinematic universe are set. They could actually go in that direction slowly, but we'll just have to wait and see. But now I want to know from you, if you got to pick a franchise which Nintendo would make a movie or series about, then which one would it be? And how would you like the story to go? Let me know in the comments as I'm really curious what you think. And if you are watching this video then you probably like Nintendo. Then why not subscribe to the XPREF channel for lots more on Mario, Super Smash, Zelda and all the other good stuff. You won't regret it, I promise. If you enjoyed be also sure to leave a like to win some internet points. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.